What's up gamers, it's Pamela Horton, Miss October 2012 and Playboy's Gamer Next Door. And I am here for the Call of Duty Championships for 2015. I'm a little out of my element, but I have some professional players and celebrities who can teach me a little bit about first person shooters. First up was the Celebrity Pro-Am Tournament that pitted professional football players Golden Tate and Demarius Thomas against each other to help raise money for the Call of Duty endowment. I think that's wonderful. Uh, that's one of the things that I work closely with is our military. I think uh, those guys are really the true heroes. I don't care who's on TV doing what. I think they are the heroes because they make what we're doing right now possible. So uh, I really admire what they're doing here. You kicked a lot of ass in the Celebrity Pro-Am. Did you have a certain strategy that you had while playing? Just to work with my team and get kills. Did you enjoy the new DLC? Yeah, I, I'm, I can't wait to, for them to come out. I'm going to pick it back up and start playing again. What sort of advice do you have for someone who's new to first-person shooters? Accept failure, because it's hard. And also, you got to start when the game first comes out before everyone else gets good. I think everybody that's playing that's good have started from the beginning. The biggest thing with competitive Call of Duty is you sort of have to find the competitive community. And the best way to find it is probably looking up like MLG or like a Twitch. If you could have any item from any game, what would you choose? The exosuit. Did you see the, there's a picture of the exosuit back over there. Do you notice how they blurred out that guy's butt? No. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's like the exosuit is going down the side and then like the only part of the picture that's blurred out is his butt. It's a blurred out butt. It's really weird. Is there any time at home where you're playing your Xbox or anything like that where you rage at your TV? I do because I, every time something happens wrong, it's always cheating because I rage too much and I done broke a TV. I, I have people who have like punched walls and thrown controllers and broken mouse and keyboard. Maybe I've thrown my headset once or twice, but it was okay. Can you give me your, an example of your rage face? It's like in a point in the moment, like, it, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how rage face? No, it's kind of like, just sad. I am proud to announce that we have an exclusive interview with a mannequin. Who do you think is going to win the world championship? Don't want to say, I get it. Don't want to play favorites. Um, I have a lot of friends on Denial, so I, they're playing right now. Um, I used to team with a, a lot of them, so I hope they do well. I'm going for Denial. I'm rooting for Denial. One of the perks of coming to the championship at LA Live is I get to get my own custom Call of Duty championship shirt. I'm going to get customized just for me. Uh, I'm going to be rocking their merch. All right, guys, I had a great time at the Call of Duty Championships. I got to watch a pro-am game with some celebrities, pro players, and fans. And then finally, I got to watch Denial completely annihilate revenge in the finals. I hope that you can follow me on Twitter at PamelaHorton13. Until next time, game on. You are watching Gamer Next Door. Please click the link that's like, like and subscribe oh, here. here. Here, yeah.